one step at a time. And with this new power, this unknown force, you will bring salvation. You, Laura, will save your world. Feel the earth underfoot, my child. Awaken the sleeping memory of your wings and believe in the power that lies in the palm of your hands. That power will grant you miraculous things. Now go, my child. Laura, child of destiny, born across the shores of time. Listen well, my child. You do not know that this apparently endless universe does not have an end. That time, so infinite to misleading senses, will one day stop. You know so little, for you are but a child, a newborn. You must journey forth again, and this voyage will be far longer and much more terrifying. Now is the time to find him. Do you remember? Do you remember the name of the one who saved you? It was he who safeguarded your soul. Go and find him, and thus forge that power at last into one. Laura, my child, call his name. Speak his name so that all lives and all that will be born shall be saved. Call him and recreate yourself as you were meant to be. Now, now, Laura. David. You, uh, dropped this. <sighs> uh, here. You wouldn't want to lose it, Laura. Oh, I'm sorry. I couldn't help seeing your name on this. Besides, I feel like we've met before. Well. 
Hey, that book you have. You read Kimberly Fox? I've read some of her work. I've never met anyone else who's even heard of her. She isn't widely recognized. At least, not yet. My favorite piece in this book is... this. This poem, Light. It's about a, a sort of hypothetical woman, the poet's imaginary best friend. This woman is... Oh, I get it now. That's why I felt like we'd met before. Ah, you remind me of her. For me, if that sounds strange, but... <laughs> Well, it is strange. I highly recommend it. It's a wonderful poem. Everything Kimberly Fox writes is so filled with hope and love of life. Oh, Laura, look.
Criança 